Hey, hi, in this video, we're going to see how to run SQL query on NoSQL databases. This sounds really crazy, right? So, but we can do that. Here, I'm going to show you that how to run a SQL query on Amazon DynamoDB, which is actually an example NoSQL database from, AW, from AWS. Now, let's see that in how we can run a SQL query on Amazon, you know, Athena. Right, so here what we do is, you know, we're going to see that how we can, you know, create a DynamoDB, then how we can integrate that DynamoDB with the Amazon Athena so that we can run the required SQL query where we can get more insights about the, you know, the whatever the data that is present in the, you know, the Amazon uh, DynamoDB, right. So here, what is the, you know, the, uh, the innovation here is that, you know, how we can run a flexible, uh, you know, a very deep analytics query that is with using SQL query how we can run that on a NoSQL database, that is Amazon DynamoDB. All right, so without being delayed, I'm going to take you to the my AWS account here. So I will go to the my AWS account. Um, so currently, as you see here, uh, I'm in my AWS account and currently in Amazon DynamoDB page. Uh, if I go to the tables, so currently I have uh, two tables belongs to my application. So I have these two tables that is, you know, backend uh, storage for Terraform. This is just I created for uh, infrastructure secure purpose then this is the one face record which is created for my application purpose now you know so if i go to this dynamo db table we don't have any mechanism right so we just have a mechanism where i can discover the items present in that dynamo db table yeah but if you want to run a sql query which can help us to get a more insight there is no other way right but in aws provides a capability card you can integrate this dynamo db with the amazon athena through a, a private, through a basically, you know, the data source connection, which I'm going to show you right away, right? All right, so I will take you to the another page called Amazon Athena. So Amazon Athena is a service where it will help you to get the insights on the data sets. The data sets could be, you know, the could be coming from lot many sources like Amazon S3 bucket, RDS services, Redshift clusters, or it could be, you know, the any kind of services, right? So here in this case, we are using Amazon DynamoDB. So how we can integrate the Amazon DynamoDB with the Amazon, you know, Athena so that we can extract the data that is present in the Amazon DynamoDB into in the form of, uh, you know, the SQL, uh, you know, running type of data, right? So let's see how we can do that. Remember that this capability is, is new to capability from Amazon Athena through which that, you know, you can connect it to that data source. And then later you can run a SQL query on that one. So once you are in the uh, in the Amazon Athena, right? So you're gonna go to the uh, data source first. You need to create a data source, right? So before I jump for the data source, let me tell you that you know. So if you go to the query editor, right now we don't have any data sources, right? So by default you will have a AWS data catalog data source, which is a default data source where you can run an Amazon Athena query. But in this case, we need to build a custom data source, right? So, and that could be done by using a, an option called data source. You see that here underneath the administration, we have our data source. Go to there, uh, click on create data source, right? Once you click on create data source, you see that there are lots of data source been provided by the, by the Amazon Athena for integration purpose. I know basically these kind of you know, capabilities called, called as a ready-made integration that you can do on these services. And later you can perform the, you know, the SQL query level uh, analysis can be done on this data set. Yeah. So for now, our data source is, is, you know, so here is Amazon DynamoDB. So, okay. So I'm going to select that, but for your information, so we have a nearby 34 resources are available on which you can actually, you know, uh, integrate them as a data source. And then you can run a SQL query by using Athena queries. Yeah. In simple. So I'm going to choose the Amazon DynamoDB because I want to run an SQL query on my Amazon DynamoDB. Yeah? That's the aim of this one. So next, we click on next. Here in this one, select the data source uh, option. So you need to give a data source name. Let me call it as a Dynamo. Uh, Dynamo. Let me call this name as DynamoDB kind of thing. Yeah. So this is my name. That is DynamoDB uh, data source. Description, I'm going to keep it default. Now, in the connection details, you see that, you know, basically here, Amazon Athena data source, actually it creates a Lambda and that Lambda is basically, it's a template and that template is by default, it is provided by AWS. What is our job here is, is to just to create a, a Lambda out of the template and point that Lambda here. Okay. So for that sake, you know, we need to, and, and that is acting as a connection here actually. Yeah. 
So under the hood, you can think like that. You know, basically, AWS is spinning AWS Lambda, and that Lambda has a logic that can extract the data from the Amazon DynamoDB and populate it as a you know as a as a data source in the Amazon Athena tables, and then you can try to run a query. So that is the under the hood logic. It is that that's all it happening. Now here, let's click click on create Lambda for now because we need to create a Lambda. Once you click on create Lambda, you see that, you know, it is taking us to AWS Lambda, right? So remember that I am currently in Oregon region. My DynamoDB tables are also in a Oregon region, right? So you need to use like region, you know, the, you know, so wherever the, your data source is there, you use the Athena service belongs to that region only. So once I click on create Lambda, it took me to the another tab and it is taking me to AWS Lambda and applications. So here you just need to provide certain inputs. Let's see what we need to provide. In the application settings, you see that we need to give the application name, something like this. Uh, in the you know permission bounded, this is optional. I'm going to keep it default. And here, spill the bucket. So here we need to give an example bucket, right? So for that sake, what I do is I know I'm going to take you to the uh, you know I'm going to take you to the um, yeah. So let me close other tab so that you get so that you can so that you know you you will be uh, not confused. So we were here and and basically we are actually you know as per the um, so basically when we click on create a lambda function it took us here and in the application name we kept it default now we are in the spill bucket in spill bucket we need to give a bucket name which is from your from your account yeah so in this account what i do is i'm going to give this bucket so if i open this bucket there should be some not so there is nothing data so let's use this bucket for that purpose yeah so so for that sake we just copy the the bucket name because this bucket name is belongs to me so the name of the packet where function can spill the data so basically why does this bucket is needed because this lambda you know it uses lots of packages binary files reference files library files yeah so you know so while while creating this lambda function it's going to reference that bucket for you know for that sake we need a name now in the athena catalog name so you need to give the name of the lambda here you see that this is the name of the lambda function that will be created so give a name here that is Athena catalog name, which is something you can recognize in the sense this name is used to create a lambda. As I said here, Athena is creating a lambda, which is actually helping it to act as a connector or act as an ETL pipeline, which will extract the data from the source that is from DynamoDB and and create a table in the Athena tables. Yeah. So here, let me give it as a something like uh, like a, like a Dynamo uh, Dynamo Dynamo fetch. Yeah. So let me something give like this. Okay. Rest all option. I'm gonna keep it default. Yeah. And here you need to click on acknowledge and click on deploy. So once you click on deploy, what happens is basically, you know, it's gonna, as I said, it's gonna spin up AWS Lambda here. Let's see that, you know, it is what is it currently doing. So here you go, that you know, currently it is in, in deploy mode. So it's gonna take some time. Okay, so you need to be uh, patienceful here. And as you see here, currently it is actually uh, you know deploying the resources. This is in the ORU, go to the deployments, you can see that you know in deployments. Currently, it has, uh, you know, it is in, in still in, you know, update in progress mode. Uh, yeah, so that's what you can see it here. Right, and then go to the monitoring. So you can also do a monitoring. So this is nothing but, you know, underneath the AWS Lambda, we also have applications that is nothing but, you know, which will help us to do the, you know, the Athena DynamoDB connector kind of things. Okay, so basically, Athena provides lot many connector services that we saw, right? So once this is completed, what we do is we need to go back to the, uh, go back to the, our, our you know, basically, uh, data source space where we were creating the data source uh, for for DynamoDB. Yeah? So this will take some time, and though so just uh, wait for a couple of uh, minutes, a couple of seconds. You go, the deployment got completed in in in, in one you know, one minute. Okay, so now you go back to the dashboards and go to the go to the functions now again. So if you go to the functions here, so you see that you know we have a lambda called DynamoDB fetch. That's what we created, right? So if I go back to the functions, you see that you know the runtime of that function is Java 11, right? What does that mean? That means that you know, this Lambda functions has a logic that which can extract the data from the DynamoDB to the Athena query, right? All right, so now with that done, so why I came back to this Dynamo, why, why did I came, why did I come here in this function is just to copy this, I uh, you know the function here and that is what we need. So I'm gonna copy that. Now in the in this form, right? So remember that we were here, right? That is creating a data source. In this option now, you need to, you need to give the ARN of the function that is got created. So I'm gonna choose this uh, Lambda function here right and then i'm going to click on next so once you click on next basically it's going to take you to the to the next options here it is simple very simple next just click on create source okay once the lambda is created you will get an arn 
now you put that arn into that uh, lambda options and then click on a create a source and that's also basically like aws data catalog we have a dynamodb uh, i know the data source ready right so with that option basically you have connected a bridge between the basically amazon dynamodb with the athena query tables okay now let's go to the query editor again go back to the query editor and then here refresh it here quite a bit and then in the in the in a, in a data source now you should be see dynamodb data source okay so in the dynamodb data source we have a, a, a default database underneath the default database here you go we have a dynamodb tables automatically populated now if i go back to the my uh, you know the tables in the underneath the dynamodb i have uh, these two tables that is uh, face records backend storage terraform yeah so all these two has been automatically fetched okay that is a magic right so that that's what basically magic happened now you can automatically run a query against this table so let me run a query against uh, backend storage terraform uh, i know the uh, table so i'm going to close this query and then you know just run again so okay so once you run this again what happens is basically whatever the information present underneath that uh, table now you know automatically getting generated here remember that you know now you are running sql query earlier that was no sql now you can run a sql query right so remember that sql query has a capability that you can run from 360 degree in the sense you can query a data from the 360 degree and get the required instance okay that kind of flexibility is available in a sql query but in no sql query it is very difficult that's the reason we are converting from no sql to sql with using athena okay so likewise let me query the another table called uh, called face records so if i run this query you see that you know it is actually now giving me uh, data in the form of uh, in the form of something like this okay here you go right so i have, uh, I have this face id you have con you know country uh, money blah blah right so not only so for now i'm just running an example um, you know example sql query but you can run you know a, a lot many complex queries uh, which can get you more insights uh, you know here right so let's say you know i want to run something like uh, yeah, so you can run lot many queries. Okay, so not only this one, so you can try to run a query against these two DynamoDB table and try to get the you know the insights. Okay, so because you know you have a multiple DynamoDB tables now, say that you know your AWS account has multiple DynamoDB table, right? So you can do that. Yeah, so for for example, say here, I can you know we can connect those two tables and run a queries like that. Yeah, all right. So for now, you know what I did is you know I have uh, shown you the things need to be shown here right so here my aim was to make you to convert your nosql data into a sql format and then try to run you know then enable you to run your own sql query right so running the sql query now it's your job right so this is how we actually integrate amazon dynamo db table with the amazon athena and then we're gonna run a sql query on nosql all right so with that option i have uh, successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video Finally, I can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks for attending. See you in the next video.